Hello everyone. In the module on gender in Zeitgeist, we have three lessons that are intended to make us aware of the many forms of gender discrimination all around us. The lessons will help us see and treat every individual as a human being irrespective of their sex. The first of these is a speech delivered by Adrian Rich, the American feminist poet. Claiming an education was a speech that Adrian Rich delivered at the graduation ceremony in Douglas College. Even though it was delivered in 1977, the convocation address is still relevant today because gender equality in education is still not a reality everywhere. Addressing the staff and students of Douglas College, Adrian Rich begins by stressing the need for women to play an active part in their education. They should be more responsible towards themselves and should demand to be educated in the way they want to be, rather than passively accepting whatever society decides to teach them. Once women are serious about their education and their goals, then the whole world will treat them with equal seriousness. Let us now summarize the lesson. Adrian Rich says that it is the responsibility of women to assert themselves and take the initiative regarding their educational needs. It is a life and death situation where being passive will make women losers. We need to realize how patriarchal the field of education is. Men decide everything here since they, particularly the rich white men, are the ones who occupy positions of power. Women's voices and experiences are removed from the curriculum as irrelevant. It was to correct this imbalance that many universities introduced women's studies courses. Even though such courses are extremely relevant, they won't serve the purpose unless and until women become more responsible towards themselves and begin to treat themselves as a priority. This is not an easy task, since women have always been trained to give priority to the needs of the home and the family and to give themselves only secondary status. Therefore, being responsible involves a big challenge and a lot of hard work. In the first place, women must realize the importance of their own intelligence and emotions and not treat them as trivial as society has been doing all along. Women must also respect themselves, their body and their soul and demand the same respect from everyone else. A responsible woman is someone who will not take the easy way out but will face challenges and do hard work to achieve her goals. She will not be tempted by marriage and motherhood as means of escape from hard work. Responsible women will not neglect their own talents and dreams and they will give as much importance to work as they give to love and friendship. Once a woman is convinced about her sense of purpose in life, everyone else will respect her goals and her dreams.
Rich tells the teachers that rather than setting low goals for their girl students, they should be allowed to think, discuss, act, and write in a serious and advanced manner. Rich quotes the Victorian poet Elizabeth Barrett Browning, who disapproved of subjects that make women passive, subjects that have low expectations of the women students. She had said that once women are given the chance to operate their logical faculty and higher mental activities, they can truly excel. Adrian Rich concludes the speech by encouraging the staff and students to enter a contract where they take each other seriously. Once the student is convinced that she is pursuing serious education with the help of her teacher, and the teacher is convinced that the voice of women is to be heard, then women can give their best and make the world a better place. Thank you.